How's it going YouTube? It is Golly and welcome to some Black Ops 2 Mob of the Dead zombie gameplay. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the golden spork on the new zombie map and one hit zombies with a knife up until round 32. So if that is your type of thing then please stick around in this video. So what you're going to have to do first is use the airplane on the map to go to the island and once you come back from the island the first time then you're going to be able to start doing this easter egg. But if you don't know how to craft the airplane and get to the island, check the annotation on screen or check the description of this video. I'll have a link to my other video where I show you how to craft the plane. And you're also going to have to need the tomahawk for this. So if you don't know how to get that, I have a video link in the description that shows you how to do that. So once you have the tomahawk and you've gone on the plane, you go in the Michigan hallway and you try to find this poster on the wall. And then you're going to have to hold your tomahawk down for two seconds and then throw it at the poster and it should create a hole in the wall. Now, after you do that, you're going to have to make sure no zombies are on you because you're going to have to go into the afterlife mode. And to do that, the easiest way to do it would just be, into, just be to go to the afterlife terminal right next to the poster. And then there should be a hole in the wall right next to that terminal where you just simply walk through. And then there's going to be this little crack in the ground. And then you shoot exactly where I shoot right there. Now, I know I didn't shoot at anything, but... If this wasn't in theater mode, you would be able to see the spoon laying right there on the ground. And then all you got to do is zap it once, and then it teleports it over here to the cafeteria. And then what you're going to have to do is go to the exact same spot I am, hold down your tomahawk, and throw it right there. And then you should hear Brutus mumble something, and then that means you've completed that step. So then the last step is up in the infirmary. Well, this is the last step with a silver spoon, at least. You go over to this bathtub, and you hold X, and then it should be like spinning the blood in the tub, and then it should disappear into the tub. And then, it, if you did the step right, you should lose your spoon that you just picked up, and you will be back to the normal knife. But, it's all good. You're going to get it back, and it's going to be gold, so don't fret. Now, the next step is going to require a fully upgraded Blundergat, so you're going to have to get the Blundergat from the mystery box. And then you're going to have to turn it into the Acid Gat. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you're going to have to find the three parts for the Acid Gat upgrade kit. And if you don't know where they are, check my video that is in the description or on your screen right now that shows you where all the parts are for the Acid Gat kit. So once you have the Acid Gat, then you are ready to go back to the island and pack-a-punch it again. So once you have it pack-a-punched, it's basically the most rapist gun on this map. And you should be able to get this next part of the Easter egg done no problem if you have Juggernaut, the Cherry Perk, and Sleight of Hands optional too. But what you're going to have to do is now, you're going to have to go into the showers room, or the laundry room, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to have to basically just kill zombies in this room with the upgraded Blundergat, just how I am right now. And it has to be with this gun for some reason. And if you kill a certain amount of zombies in this room with this gun... Then you'll hear a little laugh, much like the mystery box is moving. And then that's how you know that you've completed this step to the Easter egg. So I just basically kept killing zombies in this room for this entire round. And then at the end of the round, I made a crawler. And the, the step of the Easter egg was done. So that's what I'm basically telling you to do. One round should be enough. And if you need another person to camp in this room with you, then they could camp right there in the laundry room where the laundry mat is and uh, just pick off zombies from in there. Now once you completed all that, you go back to the infirmary and you go up to that bathtub where you just put the spoon in. You hold X and then a golden spoon should arise from the blood. And then you just hold X and voila! You now have a golden spoon or spork that you can just slice zombies heads off with. We're gonna take a nice little look at this gun here. Or weapon, my bad. Don't know why I called it gun. And look at that, we got a golden spork. <laughs> as your knife on the mob of the dead too bad you have to complete all these steps to get it but once you do get it it's totally worth it because it's a one hit up until what i've heard of round 20 no 32 now i only made it to round 23 with this thing but as you can see it's obviously a one hit on these zombies and it's pretty rapage and if you want a good strategy with it then just look at the gameplay right now because this is a pretty good rape train spot here in the cafeteria and if you have the golden spoon, you can basically just make it a whole lot easier on yourself because if a zombie's charging at you from the front, you can just straight up shank him in the dome piece and then turn around and splay a blundergat weapon, bullet or whatever, yeah, bullet, 
Spray some blunder gat at the enemies behind you. And then you should be good to go. And this should be a pretty good strategy to get you to a decently high round. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And yeah, let me know what you think of this golden spork also. So tell me how many zombies you kill with it. And tell me if you find a legitimate high round where it stops being a one-hit kill at. So until next time, guys. Peace.